Oh, I was going to tell you about stories. Oh, so, stories. A, a few years ago, a friend of mine asked me to run a, a, a group with about 50 peace activists and 50 business people. And this was right around the time of Mission Accomplished and the Iraqi War. Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of, you know, in Silicon Valley, there's a lot of hard feelings about the war. Um, I didn't want to do it because peace activists tend to be very cantankerous folks. They, they're, you know, they're, they're not usually open to hearing the other side, in my experience. But um, I went in and I was explaining how to graph every border. I said, you know, this is Julie. She's going to be capturing our output. And someone said to me, you can't use capture. That's war language. That's how triggered this group was. So um, uh, I managed to get them quieted down. And, and I said, what I'd like you to do to begin is to think about the first time that you realized that peace was important to you and that it was gonna be something that you would work on in your life. Because you're all here because you're interested in peace. The business people and the peace people are all here because you're interested in peace. And in the next 45 minutes, people did a couple of rounds where they were sharing what triggered, the, what that, that question triggered for them. And almost all of them went back to times when they were teenagers or, or in their early 20s and told these heart-wrenching stories of just profound moments of opening. Um, what I would call spiritual opening. And by spiritual, I mean simply a recognition of belonging to something larger than oneself. And after 45 minutes, the animosity in that room, which had been palpable when I walked in, had virtually disappeared. No one was made wrong for their position of why they cared. And everybody actually appreciated hearing why people cared. And by the end of the day, uh, we walked out with a group of people who had been at odds with each other coming in saying, we're forming real partnerships here. We actually see how we can work together. And that's why I do collaborative conversations, because I like to get people who don't realize how much they have in common in terms of dreams and desires um, to come together and say, hey, we're working together here. This is great.